Hello, hello, hello. I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are in the world. My name is Misako Invela and thank you so much for pressing play on today's video. As some of you may or may not know, I will be starting an 18th month long Japanese language program in Tokyo in October. Right now, I'm about two months out from the beginning of the program and I really want to ramp up my studying to prepare. I want to make the most out of the time and money <laughs> of investing in this program and I want to learn the language. So I know in order to do that, I'm gonna have to make some time to study outside of the classroom as well. So today I kind of want to walk you through my four part self study routine, no classroom, no teachers. I know that this will evolve as my skills advance, but this is what's working for me right now. So part one, we're keeping it real basic flashcards. One thing about me, I love a flashcard down and this method has never failed me. You can utilize flashcards for any part of the language learning process, but right now I'm using it specifically for hiragana and katakana. I'll go through each alphabet one to two times and then I'll leave out the characters that I missed and go through those extra times. This part of my self-study routine is super necessary because I'm not in Japan right now and I'm not surrounded by hiragana and katakana. When I was in Japan, every day was practice. I was reading signs, billboards, things in the subway, store signs, whatever I could to just practice. So this part of my routine is super important so that I don't lose everything I learned. Then I like to test my ability to read and listen using the Rosetta Stone app, who also happened to be the partner for today's video. Rosetta Stone is an immersive language learning app that uses pictures, audio, and even native pronunciation features to help you confidently speak and retain a new language as if it were your first language. When it comes to learning a new language, building my confidence is half the battle. Feeling confident enough to speak what I've practiced is such a struggle for me with learning a language, so I'm really happy to have access to a tool that's helping me build my confidence. What I like about this app is that there's no romaji, so I'm exercising my ability to read and learn katakana and hiragana every time I use it. If the romaji translation is there, I'm going to use it. As much as I try to resist it, I always look at it, but with the dynamic immersion approach, I'm pushed to learn and read Japanese in the same way I need to do it when I'm in Japan, where the Romaji translations will not be available. It's really helpful on days when I don't have a tutor because the app still encourages me to speak and perfect my pronunciation. Kanojo wa inu wo katte imasu. Kanojo wa inu wo katte imasu. Kare wa neko wo katte imasu. Kare wa neko wo katte imasu. Rosetta Stone's pronunciation tool works by comparing your pronunciation to that of real native speakers. And then they provide you with immediate feedback so that you can fine tune your skills so that learning Japanese feels natural even if you've struggled with learning languages in the past. I also love that lessons are only 10 minutes long. So on days when I don't have that much time, I can always squeeze in a lesson and days when I have more time, I can stack my lessons. Really enjoying using this so far. And as I mentioned before, you can use self-studying hours towards the 150 hour Japanese language school study requirement. There are five months left in 2024. If you use Rosetta Stone to study for 30 minutes at the beginning of the day and 30 minutes at the end of the day, you can hit that 150 hour study requirement before the end of the year. Technically, on a couple of those days, you're going to have to study a little more, but you can still hit those hours from the comfort of your own home. So if learning Japanese is also one of your goals, check out Rosetta Stone's dual option deal by clicking the link in my description box. You can select a single language lifetime subscription for over 50% off, or if you're like me and you're trying to learn a little bit of a new language every month, you can gain access to all 25 languages for over 60% off. Do with that information what you will. Now, part three of this routine, I get into my textbook. I like to review sections from this textbook that I got from Koto because there's still so much I can learn from this book. Today I'm focusing on relearning how to ask for directions because the amount of time that I spent lost in malls in Tokyo because I refused to ask in English, like I just, my pride would not let me do it. I don't even wanna tell you how much time that is and I don't want to put myself in that position again when I go back. So that's what I'm focusing on today. I don't really go in any particular order when I'm in the textbook. I just kind of base what I want to learn off of what I'm feeling that day and it keeps it more interesting. Learning this language is 
challenging and it's easy to feel defeated. So in order to make this a more enjoyable process, learning things that I get to use in real time when I go back to Japan and seeing myself make progress in that way keeps me motivated. So that's why I give myself the flexibility with the textbook because I know that that's how I stay motivated. You have to figure out what keeps you motivated in this process. And then part four is like a reward. I like to reward myself by watching YouTube videos by Japanese YouTubers. I've been watching Kana Oya. I've actually been watching her since I was in Mexico City and I really like her style and it's really cool because she puts English subtitles on some of her videos. So I've really enjoyed watching her. If you have any other Japanese YouTuber recommendations, please leave them in the comments below. And that also goes for YouTubers that don't add English subtitles because I just think it's good for me and for anyone learning to just hear Japanese spoken by native Japanese speakers. I'd love to know in the comments below if you're learning a new language or if you've learned one in the past, what your favorite self-study tips are. Any tools, tips, or tricks, please leave them in the comments below. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day wherever you are in the world. Thank you so much for taking the time to press play on today's video. Thank you so much for showing up for me. Thank you so much for being patient with me. And as always, thank you for being here. I'll see you soon. Bye.